Are the bats ready, Scrap Iron? Yes, Destro! This is the last battle android trooper! Hey there, guys and gals. Welcome back to the Collector's Table. I am that 80s nostalgic toy guy. Welcome back. And today, we are unboxing another one of my favorite figures from one of my current favorite G.I. Joe toy lines. That is the G.I. Joe Classified Series, and it is Cobra Bat. I absolutely love Dr. Mindbender's creation here, the Cobra Bat. Love these figures. Love the way they look. I love the colors of this figure, the comic book uh, figures, and the cartoon figures. Now, we've went over Cobra Bat on this uh, channel before. This right here figure looks to be great. Looks to be just as nice as my other classified figures that I've unboxed for the channel. So I can't wait to get this little guy out of the box. Go over his accessories. But before we do all that, go ahead and hit the like button on this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel. I'd love to have you on board as a subscriber. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future G.I. Joe classified series unboxings and videos and just my gi joe stuff in general because i do a lot it is my largest collection that i have so i'm always adding to it so you don't want to miss out on those videos now before we go over this uh figure get them out of the box let's go over the box art a little bit closer all right guys and gals here is that cool box art here of this gi joe classified series cobra bat figure look at all that artwork on there it's just crazy. I, I love the back box art on these boxes. Uh, just all those figures that come out you with the color contrast that's on this box from the front to the back. It's just really nice. I, I love the, the red, white, and blues on here, of course. I love the Cobra logo. I love the Cobra Bat logo. Man, look at all that. That is really cool. Look at it one more time. We got the Hasbro logo. We have the G.I. Joe number 33 G.I. Joe classified series logo on there. This is Cobra Bat. That's the box art. Now let's get the figure out of the box. All right, we got the top already popped off there. We're going to go ahead and pull this Cobra Bat figure out of the box so we can go over and look at that cool figure right there. That's Cobra Bat. Look at all those accessories. All right, there is that Cobra Bat figure. This G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Bat. I, I just love the color scheme of, of the Bat figure. He looks uh, like the figure, you know, that we all knew and loved there. He looks like him, but it is definitely upgraded. Let me let me specify that. He looks like Cobra Bat, but he is definitely upgraded uh, from our original um, Cobra Bat that we had there back in the mid 80s. It's hit me right in the nostalgia bone as we see that chest plate there with all the functions uh, and stuff, the, the inner workings of that chest plate. The black and helmet with the silver, the face plate and everything on that, and just the silver on the back of the helmet, uh, just looks pretty cool. This is a one of two head sculpts that we get for this figure. Um, I love the orange on black and silver. Do I just a cool uh, color scheme and color combination? And then you, you know, as he turns around there on his left shoulder, upper, uh, you know, upper arm, you can see that Cobra logo, but the. Uh, the the orange is carried on throughout this figure and the silver it's kind of evenly distributed all over this figure to make it look really cool really kind of on balance and you see he stands there really well these these classified figures are really nice now as we're going down we're going over this figure we're going down yeah you can see the bombs that are on his uh on his uh, shoulder harness there which he does have that shoulder harness there. It looks to be molded onto the figure. On the back there, you see that silver component there to kind of so show some inner workings of that figure. There is a hole on that backside for a reason. It's uh, one of our accessories we're gonna get to here momentarily. And then you see the mechanical arms there uh, that he has there that are silver. So you got that black and then you get down to those silver uh, arms, forearms, elbows, and hands. And you can see the workings on those hands and arms look like veins and like muscle striations to make those weapons and, and everything look like that. That is cool. Those hands that are on him are the only hands that we get that are actual hands, but we do get extra accessories that attach to the arms. We're going to go over that. Uh, we get down to that belt there that looks to be actually movable and removable. That uh, uh, is orange, and it leads down to that, uh, that to holster there. And that holster is important, and it's a functioning holster because we do get a weapon. We're going to go over that here shortly, too. He's got those black pants, and then he's got this cool uh, uh, silver gray-like um, ammo pouch or, or carrying uh, accessory pouch that's on his right uh, thigh there. Um, that looks pretty nice. And get down there, that silver at the top of those boots 
uh, those orange boots. I, I, I just love the orange and silver. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm a sucker for this stuff, but I, I do like that color scheme. And he stands out uh, of the, uh, the G.I. Joe collection. He really does stand out as a figure because of that color scheme, I, I think. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you like this color scheme? Uh, but he does look pretty cool. This extra head sculpt that uh, they have included here, that Hasbro's included, is a really cool head sculpt. And here's why. Look at that. You get to see that mechanical eye there that's blue, that's actually po poking out of a damaged helmet there. Uh, that is really cool. This is fairly unique to me and one of my head sculpts to see that kind of stuff here. I've seen uh, battle damaged uh, Cobra Bat figures with the helmets and stuff. That is really cool to see an individual eyeball uh, looking out at us. That's a pretty cool mechanical eyeball. It's got some more damp battle damage to it. So that's pretty cool. This would actually display very well with this, and I might, in fact, do that at some point. Remember, I said that there was this hole on his back right there. Well, that hole matches up to his backpack here because, you know, Cobra Bat has that backpack that has those extra accessories that go inside of it. So you got that little thing that sticks in the back of there, and you see all this awesome detail of this backpack. Look at that. You kind of see the inner workings of that backpack right there. That looks pretty cool. Now you see that, you see all these hoses and other stuff that goes onto this thing. That's really nice. And it's got that those uh, spots there to hold these extra accessories. We're going to go ahead and put that on his back, just like that. It looks pretty cool sitting on there. Maybe a little bit crooked, but that's okay. Uh, so that backpack is one of the accessories, and it holds these other accessories. It can hold two of these three extra hand accessories here. Um, you know, you got the the claw clampy looking thing, like a like a laser shooting thing, or or what kind of weapon that is. But he has that, and then you have this piece right here that goes on his arm. There, it's like a flamethrower type piece. There, as you can see, the the two different nozzles there, uh, one for the flame and one for the fuel to make that uh, that fire effect. So we're gonna go ahead and put uh, uh, one of these on his hand, his left hand, and we're gonna go ahead and put the other two in the backpack. And there we go. I'm kind of a sucker for that clamp-like claw thing. And that looks pretty cool. I think that stands out as a piece to go on his uh, hand. And then those two right there sit in there very nicely. The piece that goes onto the hand actually sits down inside of a groove inside of that backpack. And they don't move. That's really cool. So you're left with just one extra little hand. you got to find a place to put. Now we have one uh, other weapon accessory. And that is the pistol, the gun, the weapon right here that goes in his hand. As you can see, it's a pretty cool little gray, little pistol, little weapon here, little handheld gun that has a cool trigger on there, a place to put his trigger finger. And it just has a lot of cool detail on it. It's a really cool piece right there. We're gonna go ahead and put that in his right hand before we go to the last accessories. And there we go. That weapon fits nicely in that hand right there. That trigger finger fits great on that trigger. Really precise detail and, and, and everything on this figure. That's, that's really nice the way that fits in there. As he spins around there, you get one more look at what he looks like. That is pretty cool. I just like the way that that, that pistol fits in his hand. It's, that's just a perfectly cool look for this Cobra Bat figure. There is one more set of accessories. It is a Cobra Bat. So he has that, that the inner workings there, the chest uh, stuff that's right there on his chest. That's what, what, what a lot of people know him for and really like about him. He's got that cool, unique open chest there, the inner workings. But of those inner workings... You know, they get damaged, he dies. So there are chest plates here. You know, uh, lots of the other uh, Cobra Bat figures come with chest plates, and this one is no different. He comes with two chest chest plates. One that's just that solid black uh, chest plate that's that's undamaged, and then you got that cool damaged chest plate right there, which looks like, looks like it's been hit by a G.I. Joe laser. I like the open chest look, so I will just display these at Cobra Bat's feet. Now let's go over the articulation. These G.I. Joe Classified Series figures have great articulation. So there's the head and the neck. A couple points of articulation there. That's really nice. We've already moved the shoulders around a lot to, to get these extra accessories on. So we've got great movement at the, uh, the shoulders. A couple points of articulation there. Great articulation at the elbows here. And then, of course, at the wrists here of these, of these figures. Because we have all these interchangeable parts, uh, he's got a little bit of that ab crunch movement. Look at that. Moves forward and backwards right there with that joint right there. That's nice. We do a little bit of twisty turny there at the waist. And then look at that, that, that hip socket, hip joint. Of course, he has to move a lot. It's Cobra Bat. He's got to move. 
<laughs> there's swivel motion at the top of the thigh there that's a really nice throw in there double jointed knee right there that is pretty cool articulation at the top articulation at the bottom and then all sorts of articulation down here at these feet <laughs> look at that holy cow he's been tore up with that look right there we're going to get him back to his normal stance set him down and that is it that is the gi joe classified series cobra bat figure here he looks pretty cool. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this Cobra Bat figure. What do you think about the G.I. Joe Classified Series? I think this figure looks pretty cool. I am that Ace Nostalgic Toy Guy. Thank you for joining me once again at the Collector's Table for another cool, fun, awesome unboxing here. It's another Cobra Bat to add to my collection. I can't wait for my next G.I. Joe Classified Series unboxing. I really do love these figures. I don't know which one it's going to be, but you definitely want to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on that one. Go ahead and subscribe to this uh, channel if you haven't subscribed. I'd love to have you on board as a subscriber. And go ahead and hit that like button. I look forward to getting back to the collector's table real soon to unbox something awesome, something cool, something old, or something new. Now, this Cobra Bat uh, figure... His, his fate is sealed. He's going to be sent into battle. You know, Cobra Commander is calling outside my collector's uh, room here. He is calling for another Cobra Bat to go in um, on the front lines there against G.I. Joe. I, 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 it was fun unboxing uh, this Cobra Bat here, but he's going to go get destroyed. I just know it. Uh, I can't hold him back. He's got a duty to uh, fulfill, so I'm going to let him go. And I must let you go, but I will be back at the collector's table real soon.